Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. I had mentioned in my other previous videos that I had done my May and June favorites. I did say June and July, but we're still in July, so I'm not even there yet. So this video will be covering the May and June favorites. Uh, my days and weeks and months are have been off, but anyways, so I don't know what I did with the May and the June videos. That it, I didn't upload them properly or I deleted them. God knows what I did. So anyways, this video is about my May and June favorites. So it's going to involve some skincare, a little bit of color, and we'll see. I just got it all together, so hopefully it comes out. So hopefully you enjoy this. So let's get started. My first product here that I want to talk about will be my top favorite three mascaras for the past couple of months. So most of you are familiar with the Tarte Lashes Lights and Camera um, mascara here. So I love this mascara a lot um, just because it's it does give you the length, it gives you the volume, and I mean, that brush is everything. It separates, it lengthens, and it gives you volume. I just love it. I, this is a, such a great mascara. I will say, and I was trying to find the other, uh, I think maybe this is the one. The, my other favorite is the Essence mascara in lash princess fall slash effect mascara and this one is $4.99 versus your $25 so I love the packaging of this one it's so cute it makes it look like a corset in the back um, it is in black as well and I'll show you the brush here really quickly which also reminds me if you look at this brush it reminds me a little bit of the Tarte this one right here and I will put them next to each other just so you can see the difference. I know the Tarte brush is a little bit thicker, a little bit fuller. And to be honest, this one, um, if y'all are familiar with Lancome's Definitions, this brush reminds me quite a bit of it. It does lengthen, gives you that false lash um, effect. It is one of my favorites and a lot less money than your typical between $25 and $30. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but sometimes, you know, we got to watch the little pocket there. Uh, especially if um, for the way things are today. Uh, now the Voluminous Lash Paradise, this I think everybody's in love with. Again, this is a perfect dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex uh, mascara. And I have used this one, all of these mascaras. I typically go through mascaras within 30 days just because I like to keep them fresh. I will push it till two months, but they seem to dry out on me. Uh, quite a bit. I do not pump them. I do not. I just maybe because I live in Texas. I have no idea. But or maybe I'm just eager to try something new after the second month. But um, this is the brush for the uh, Voluminous Lash Paradise in black. I typically stay with black. I will try in the Benefit and I will see if I I think I bought a new one in the Benefit mascara in brown. Uh, that's just for going to the groceries and things like that. So my next one that I'm going to do will be two foundations that I have been using and that I really, truly love. One of them is the Too Faced Born This Way in Color Sand. And as you can see, I have used all of it up. It's empty. <laughs> I know it looks like it's not, but there's nothing left in there. And I don't know if you can... Oh yeah, you sure can. You can unscrew the cap and they've... There's really not nothing left in there, uh, but this is one of my favorites. It goes on really smoothly. Smoothly, it does not cake. It does not um, just sit on your skin. It just blends really well. Whether you do it by hand with your fingers, a sponge, a brush, any tools that you use, or last resort, like I said, if you don't have any of those tools at hand, use your hand. And I have uh, used it quite a bit, obviously, to the end that I have to get a new one, and it's. It is in the color sand. I love this foundation. Um, I just go out and buy new ones just to try something new, but I always go back to this one. Another favorite of mine is the It Cosmetics. And I don't know why I have the boxes to them, but um, It Cosmetics, the uh, co color correcting SPF 50 and the color medium tan. That is my color. And as you can see, it's done. There's nothing left in it. <laughs> Uh, I really love this, and I like the, like the fact that it already has the serum, your moisturizer, your SPF. 
Now, with that being said, I still do use my skincare. I do all my skincare uh, prepping uh, first, then let it sit for about a minute or two, and then I proceed with this. Yes, I know, but if I'm in a rush, I just go straight to this, and I'm good for the day. So these are my two favorite um, foundations for the last couple of months that I've been using. I have a whole bunch of others, but you know, as we get to those other favorites, um, I'll be talking about those. Now, my other favorite I have mentioned uh, skincare wise is the Tarte Maracuja Oil. I love this oil because it is not oily. It doesn't make your skin feel heavy or greasy or anything like that. It is awesome. This one too, I have used till the end. There's nothing left in it. Um, I think this is a great little bottle to save if you want to store something else or if you want to travel with this one. I think this one is doesn't have the ounces. It might be a little over three ounces. Um, but this is one of my favorites. Actually, no, I take that back. It is a 1.7 ounce and this one retails for $47. You know what? And I don't think I gave the pricing for these. This one, I think it was for $35. These are $9.99, the Lash Paradise Volume by L'Oreal. And this one is for $9.99 by Essence. $25 for your Tarte uh, Lights Camera Lashes. And Born This Way, I, oh my gosh, I think this is $35 if I'm not mistaken, or $39. One of those, I think it's more $39. But this is one of my favorite skincare oils that I apply not just to my face, but to my body. If I'm experiencing really dry skin um, in particularly in the center of my face I this is what I resort to I also use uh, another oil but right now this is what I use for the last couple of months it is gone so I will be repurchasing this one as well as probably these two right here this and this um, so so far so good again this is my favorites for both May and June Another uh, beauty color, I should say, is one of my favorite eyeliners is from Chanel and it's in the Espresso Long Lasting Waterproof Eyeliner. So let's see if you can see it right there. And I have you, I love this one because it does come with a sharpener at the end of it. And I think they retail for $27. And as you can see, I have nothing left. Let's see if I can get a little bit of color there's that's it's a brown color so I don't know if you can see that but um, there's nothing in there but it is one of my favorites it is worth every single dollar it is waterproof and it stays on it won't come off unless you want it to come off meaning applying some oil or cleansing makeup remover then it will but it will last you all day long whether you're out in the heat even if you are crying unfortunately I had to go to a funeral this month and that was one of my go-tos, so it stays on. Another one, I don't know if many people know of this. Um, it is a drugstore brand, Jordana or Jordana eyeliner, and it is in the color eggplant. And this one too, it I think it goes for $2.99. And I don't think I have anything left in it. I have used all of it. So this is a very good pencil. It stays on very smooth, very soft. It doesn't tug on the skin and for $2.99 not a bad buy I think I've bought it purchased it in the green blue black brown and the eggplant if I'm not mistaken but that's one of my favorites and I'll be listing all these below just so you know uh, the colors and everything another thing that I have tried uh, a makeup remover cleanser that I use especially if I don't feel like going the whole nine yards um, I usually try to do my usual seven to nine steps just depending how I feel but there's those nights when you're just so tired and you just want to take a shower take off your makeup really quick and one of the good things that I my go-to's are the it cosmetics bye bye makeup and it's a three-in-one makeup melting cleansing balm it has a super clean scent to it citrusy and I mean there's nothing left in it as you can see I've used it all scraped to the bottom of it but when you open it, you simply just grab a little bit, melt it in your in your hands, and I or put it rub it all over my face. I let it sit for a little while, and then I'll grab 
one of the uh, Campanelli towels or the makeup eraser and I will simply just wipe everything off and really quick and easy and nothing else to do. So this is one of my favorites. Again, the only the smell it has is a scent, not a smell, it's a scent. It's citrusy, but it dissipates as soon as you start rubbing it in and it melts just like butter. It is awesome. This is a great, great product and I love and I have repurchased it. So I'll be uh, continuing to use it and let you know if anything changes as far as that's concerned. Uh, now this is a beauty favorite. It is also by It Cosmetics. Bye Bye Pores Air Brush Silk Press Finishing Powder and it contains collagen, silk, peptides, and antioxidants. Uh, I'm ashamed but not ashamed. I love it so much that I hit pan and there's nothing left in it. I love the fact that it comes with a mirror down here, the powder there, and underneath it has a sponge right here. And I won't show you the other side but I usually like to carry one in my purse and one at home so that I can touch up and this is perfect. It is, I think I still have some on here. I mean, it's very translucent. It just gives you the perfect touch up, especially if you're out in this heat or anything. Simply place, again, this is one of my favorite translucent pressed powders and it helps seal in your makeup, whether it's morning or throughout the day. It's a great go-to to just touch up your makeup without having to actually move your makeup. It doesn't move it, it sets it really nice and in. So again, that's the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. And my next one is the, I have so many here. Let's do the Tatcha, the Luminous Dewy Skin Night Concentrate. This product right here, y'all, this is an amazing, amazing night concentrate dewy skin. It hydrates and revitalizes your skin and is for all skin types. And as you notice here, it has like a little hoop right there and it holds in this beautiful gold toned. And so you can see a little bit of the um, dewy skin cream, light cream, and it just melts into your skin and it has such an uh, amazing clean uh, scent to it. And it's just so, see, look at that. It does that to your skin at night. And when you wake up in the morning, your skin just looks so amazing super super hydrating very silky very smooth and with a lot of luminosity for the nighttime again and it's just like this and it melts into onto your skin and it just i mean it's really amazing yes it's a little steep at times but it will last you a long time i think this lasted me about almost four months and it is the large size and there's a little bit left in there which i'll be scooping out here in a little bit again it's not that cheap it's a little on the expensive side but it's worth every cent um so this is one of my night routine uh, creams that i use or uh, dewy skin night concentrate it really hydrates and revitalizes my skin a lot i love this product um, and in conjunction with that, I also use the um, Tatcha, did I say this? This is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Night Concentrate. And I'm sure you recognize the emblem and the gold. And the other favorite of mine that I have um, is this Luminous Deep Hydration Firming Serum. And this is also another amazing product by Tatcha. Uh, you simply shake it before use and use a little bit. I have used all of it. I mean, it's gone. This is how good it is. I, I love this product. It really hydrates your skin. It helps your skin uh, stay hydrated. You wake up in the morning ready to just cleanse your face, you know, with their uh, rice polish hydrate it and then go with your skincare and your makeup goes on very smooth especially if you're using their makeup primer which leads me to the next so here is the tatcha but this is a silk canvas and uh it goes for 52 dollars if i'm not mistaken but this is a filter finish protective primer this is such an amazing product even if i'm not going to wear makeup i use this by itself and it helps my skin throughout the day so much and i will show you i'm a little embarrassed it's not the best clean but you can see how much i love that i've already hit the pen i just have the sides so it'll be time for me to rebuy a new one actually i placed the order for the liquid uh, version of it so i'm going to try that one before i purchase 
it in this form again, but I'm going to try the bottle in the liquid format that they bought. But it's amazing. It's so silky and smooth. Your makeup applies so perfectly afterwards that it's just so amazing. And your makeup stays on longer. It The colors are more, more vibrant and you don't have to use as much. It is so silky, so smooth. Uh, it's perfect. Uh, I mean, I've heard that the e.l.f., I think it's the e.l.f. Uh, version of this, it matches, it's a perfect dupe for it. So if you don't want to spend the $52, e.l.f. is another, which I will have to buy just to see if it's true, um, if it works the same. But I will keep you posted on that. So the next item that I um, love is the It Cosmetics uh, CC Vitality Brightening Cream in Je Ne Sais Quoi. And <laughs> this is such an amazing blush because you can use your fingers, you can use a brush, but it literally, it's not a powder, it's a gel, but it goes on as a powder and it will stay on all day long. And it's so good, so much that I loved it that again, I hit pan. This lasted me maybe about a month using it every day. And uh, I just love it. It's again in the Je Ne Sais Quoi color and it comes in this cute little um, case and I mean it's one of my favorites go-to's that I like to use I'm sorry there is no color left for me to show you but it's amazing yes it will be a repurchase um, as soon as I go through some of my other blushes one of my next favorite nighttime routines I like to exfoliate my lips every single night just to keep them moisturized and hydrated throughout the, the next day and for lipsticks to apply more evenly and smoothly. It is the Sarah Hap uh, Lip Scrub. And, and I bought this one in Pumpkin Spice Latte. And here it is. I'm still using This is a great, it is, um, I think they're worth about $30. And I got this one and I got the Lip Slip, the pumpkin, and I think it's the peppermint that came with it for the same price. So that was a good buy. And there it is. You don't need a whole lot to scrub your, exfoliate your lips, but this is so amazing because it's made out of sugar. And after you apply it on, you can actually lick it off and then just tissue it and then apply your moisturizer or your uh, lip balm afterwards. And it smells so pumpkin-y, spice. It is delicious. Because like I said, you can lick it off. It's pure sugar with other um, emollients in there. They're very hydrating and helping for your lips. So this is one of my favorites uh, scrubs as of right now that I've been using for this past month. Um, now my next one that I use is the um, Tatcha Eye Cream, Revitalizing Eye Cream. There's actually two. This one was a sample that they sent to me. It's the Deep Hydration firming eye serum and I just usually will put this one on top of the eye cream so this one will go first and then I'll apply the eye cream and again it's so good and you know expensive that you don't want to waste anything so all of these products are made in Japan and I'm just a big fan of Tatcha their products are wonderful they have a great scent to them very hydrating very nourishing and they do what they say they want to do. So they have help with any fine, they help with any fine lines, hydration, dryness, crepiness, or anything like that. So this is, I highly recommend it. I think I may have a little bit left in here, maybe not in the serum. Uh, oh, I do. So that's the serum and you just apply a lot less than that underneath your eyes. And I usually will do it all underneath my eye like this, all over, under, and then back down like this. So I just tap it in, tap it in, tap it in, and it is very, very hydrating. There's really not a scent to it. And even if you come across some of the Tatcha uh, uh, skincare products, they do have this very clean scent to them, but it dissipates. It doesn't linger, it doesn't stay, so you don't have to worry about it, especially if you are sensitive to scents or to smells. You don't have to worry about it, but I highly recommend. And this is how I like to try a lot of Tatcha's products. When I buy one, I usually will get a sample or a travel size, and which leads me into the next product, which is the Tatcha The Essence. And so when I get to try these things, it, it makes, you know, you try them before you buy, pay the big uh, bucks for them, but then it also lets you know if you want to try it or, or buy the big size. This is their Plumping Skin Softener and it's uh, anti-aging complex. 
This I usually use right after I use the rice polish, after I use my um, wash my face, then I'll apply this day and night, and then I'll proceed on with the serums, the creams, the eye creams, and everything. But before that, it's this, and this is such an amazing, I guess this is only the travel size, and I think this one is for $20 or $15, if I'm not mistaken, on their website. And the next one is the, let's see, the Camilla, uh, Camellia Beauty Oil. And it has flex of 24 karat gold and how to sign three conflicts. So this one, and I'll read what the box says just because I don't, I love it. It's an oil that applies dry, but it doesn't feel oily. It doesn't dry your skin. It just makes your skin a lot smoother. It has, again, a beautiful scent. And it says, uh, we have learned that our radiant skin of the Oshima Island Girls, harvesters of the precious camellia flower. After discovering the nourishing benefit of the flower oils, Geisha began using camellia oil to hydrate and protect their skin and hair. Rich in essential antioxidants and deep moisturizers, our luxurious beauty oil harnesses the timeless gifts of camellia. It contains flex of 24 karat gold, uh, adding a touch of glamour, elevating the everyday to exquisite. So it comes in this beautiful box like this with their beautiful uh, emblem on the outside. And then once you open it, it's just, and I saved the box because I wanted to show you guys how it is. But once you pull it, it will come like this with a little gold ribbon on top and you just pull it right out and this will be like this. And it usually comes in uh, wrapped with a rice paper explaining how to do it and um, what the benefits are as well. Uh, I was trying to save this little, see if you can see that 24 karat gold speck right there. That's what you see and it's full and it smells so wonderful. I do use it in my hair. I'll even apply it on my nails, my skin, anywhere and everywhere. So I'm a big fan of oils, just like I said before, with the pure maracuja oil. I use that. Now I'm a big fan of the Tatcha Camellia oil with its gold flex, which is a little extra touch and you just kind of open the bottle, you pump this up so you can get some of it out or and then just put it all over your body, your hair, your nails, uh, mainly your face, your neck, decotate, all of that good stuff. Um, the other thing, um, I have two more things left. This is again by Tatcha, Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. So this one, it's practically empty you can see there's a little bit left I try to leave a little bit so I can show you guys um, not with the blush obviously sorry about that um, this one you just simply close your eyes and mist onto face for instant so uh, so and soothing hydration and a silk and radiant finish this is so amazing guys I use this I travel when I travel especially on the airplane it's that air so drying that I will apply it uh, on the airplane if where I'm going is too hot or right now if we're going outside it's been over 100 degrees this is very hydrating uh, even if I'm not wearing makeup I'll simply spray this all over me it has a nice scent to it very hydrating very nourishing and really keeps your face and your body and your neck and everything very hydrated so it looks cloudy like this but you just simply see if I can get like see that and you just rub it in or you on your on my face i don't typically rub it in i just let it sit and it just drinks it in and it's just look just that little spray look how much hydration it gave to my hand versus this one i'll try to spray whatever i can on this one but it's that it has that milky color to it and see how it just and you just immediately start putting it into your skin or you can just you don't have to rub it in you just simply pat it in and again and look see look at that luminosity that hydration look that it gives you and it feels hydrated it's not just a look it's it feels hydrated very soft to your skin I mean I just this is one of the products that I probably this one if I had to pick that I had to narrow it down to my favorite two I would have to go with these two right here if I had to. But everything by Tatcha is amazing. Their eye cream, their day cream, their night cream, everything. 
Um, I did order a couple of more things. The Rise Polish is fantastic. It cleanses you, it exfoliates you without that harshness of it. It is amazing, truly amazing. And last but not least, it is another Tatcha, and this is also a um, sam part of that sample that I got right here. This came with this one, and this is the Overnight Memory Serum Concentrate. I think this is the same, if I'm not mistaken, as the big jar that I got earlier. See, I finished everything. And these are great little jars too. They're made out of glass, well made. And you, when you're traveling, if you don't want to take from your big jar, simply put enough here. This is enough to last you. I've traveled with a jar this size and it has lasted me up to 15 days. So, and the size of this jar is, or the ounces is, uh, 0.34 fluid ounces. So I have used creams that I've taken out of jars like this, same texture and everything, and it just put it in here. Same thing with this. Now this one, it did last me, I'm gonna say about 10 days, I think about two or three days before my trip was over, I ran out. So I could have used a little bit more than I should have. You know, and here's, you know, measures how much you, it should, you should only do about two to three splashes on your hand put them together and just kind of press it into your face your neck and everything no rubbing just everything patting in so again um uh those are my favorites for this month i know there wasn't much color in here it was mainly more skincare but the little bit of color is i'm mashing again may and june into this uh, video so forgive me for that but i hope you enjoyed this video um as far i think that's it that all of my favorites for this month of May and June. I will be working on the July um, at the end of this month or beginning of August. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know which of these products you've tried, if you have any of these that are your favorites. Uh, and tell me how you feel about them. If you ever tried them, liked them, or if you've actually found dupes for them, like I know the dupe for the Tatcha can Silk Canvas is the e.l.f. that everybody says it works as well as the this is the perfect dupe for the Too Faced uh, Better Than Sex uh, Mascara or if you have any other dupes for any of this uh, even a, a better lip scrub that's less expensive a foundation uh, there I mean anything you can think of I would have greatly appreciated like I said we've come to the end of this video I hope you enjoy it Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload. I appreciate it. I hope to see you next time. Have a great day.